um, I kind of wanted to show you guys how to install this stuff again. Um, if you guys remember about, let me guess, maybe if three months, maybe, I think. Um, three months ago or something like that, um, I made a tutorial on how to install sound packs and stuff. But I kind of want to make a new version of that because some people actually enjoyed watching that one. So I'm going to bring it back and let you guys see if you guys want to at least maybe watch it because people did enjoy it. So I'm going to just bring it back see what happens again. So um, first you want to do is make sure you have WinRAR. I don't know if I actually explained that the last time I did this. But if you have WinRAR right here, then use that because that's really good for what you're doing here if you actually want to do it. But um, next thing you know, open up your browser. You're going to want to go to a thing called GTA 5 Mods. Click on the website. And then if you want, this is for the gun sounds. Um, I'm not sure about the sound pack or the siren pack right now. But I will definitely show you how to install a siren pack. But I'm just not able to get the, my main siren pack in, which is alright. But I don't think you can put it in anymore. But I still, at least I still have it, so I'm... I'll just show you guys how to install it. But um besides that, let's get onto the pack for the guns. So right here you want to look for this. Like I said, you want to go to weapons on here, go to sound. After you go to that, scroll down, look for realistic gun sounds by Xnort. Xnort. Click on it. Make sure you're looking at the current version 4.4.1. Hit the little download icon. This is actually like one of the most popular sound packs for 5M role playing kind of stuff, or just in generally shooting people in GTA 5, because you can still have the gun pack on GTA Online. So like, so yeah. Um, once this starts installing, it should be installing in a minute. Uh, don't really know. Let me just check. All right, it's not up yet. But here, once it installs, click open. Once it's done with that, you want to open up your files. Make sure you find the one where your GTA 5 is at. Okay? Right here. GTA 5. After you go to GTA 5, go to X64. Audio. Sound effects. Right here is where you want to be. So after you're done with that, you want to go over here. Click Optional. After that, you want to click 5M Compatibility. Unless you're going to do GTA 5 then do that one. But if you're going to do 5M, like me, do 5M compatibility. After that, um, you should get these two files right here. They're both um, .rpf files, which is what you want. Um, you're going to have to bring these both in. If you want, you can just individually drag and replace with the um, GTA 5 standard ones. Or you can just go like this and just go drag and put it in and then replace... And also, mine weren't really updated, so I had to re-put them in there anyway, so that's actually working right. So after that, you want to just close your WinRAR. And then you want to go to LCS, or whatever this, yeah. LCS, yeah, LS, whatever. LSPDFR.com. After you go there, you want to type in sirens, or just something that will make it hopefully pop up. I think I fixed it. So, yeah, I gotta re-put everything back in. Here we go. That should make it pop up. After that, um, I'm going to look for the best one that I know that is good. Let me just find it real quick. I think it's this one. Yep, it's this one. Okay, after you click on your Siren Pack, you want to download you want to scroll up, obviously, I don't know why it puts you way far down, but after that, if you want to just read about the Siren Pack, you can read about the Siren Pack. But then you want to go down here, hit this one, because it's near the uh, clean icon. I don't know if it really makes a difference, but I'm just going to do it down here. As you do it right here, you want to download this file. It should open up, and yeah. There it is. So after you get this in, you'll have to put it into your GT5 directory again. And um, I'll also show you the graphics pack I use. So um, if you guys want to 
see that, I'll be showing you that too. So if you guys want a good graphics pack, I'll get you that too. And this is all from like where you get them and also how to install them. I'll actually put the links down below to get specifically these ones. So be ready for that. So after that, you want to click on the open. I'm going to open up the file, open it again. 5M version. See? 5M version. After that, you're going to want to go back to your x64. After you're done doing that, you want to just drag and drop. Then obviously you want to replace the name. So, yeah, there you go. So that's your siren pack and your weapons pack. So now let's move on to the last one. And I believe if I go to, um, I'm going to either remember the website. Uh, let me just think of that real quick, and I'll get right back to you guys. Alrighty, everyone. Um, I am back. Uh, for you guys, it would be like one second, but for me, it took a while to find this website or where my pack was. I had to go through my chat with my buddy, because I know I gave it to him, but here it is. Um... I'll put the link for this too, so you guys can just get that from there. Um, if you want, you can watch the video, but if you don't know how to install it, I'll show you. I can't personally install it because I already have it, and that will just ruin everything. But um, after you do that, uh, don't worry, you just want to hit download. It will download this right now. Just give it a minute real quick, and it will be done, or it will just start doing it. So, here you go. It should be done right there. It should be called AD Plus Graphics. After you do that, press the open one. You want to open it. Then you want to go to your settings. Well, not your settings, but your files, but not exactly. Type 5M in on your Windows side. Right click. Go to open file location. Do the same thing here. Open file location. Go there. After that, you should open up this right here. See this citizen right here? You see all this? All you want to do is just drag this and replace it. And then after you replace it, that will put that graphics pack into your game. And this is for the 5M. So, like, it's not for GTA. This is just for 5M. That's why you're putting it in the 5M area. Because you're just replacing this. So what you do is you drag it over. And after you drag it over, you'll just want to hit replace with that file and after that that will be done and then um that's pretty much it and i'll take you into the game and i'll let you guys hear sirens but you're not gonna exactly hear my sirens probably but if you do then you do but uh, all right uh let's get to the game Alrighty, everyone. Um, before I get to the game, I definitely want to just show y'all um, the recommendation of a graphics card if you guys were are looking for a good one to run your, your game games on at least. Um, right here is what I actually run. It's a 2070 Super. I'll show you right here. This is what I run. It's an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 Super. It's actually a pretty good one. Like I said, you guys seen a lot of videos I've been posting out. You've been seeing how they run really well, so if you are just recommendation, like, if you guys want to get one, because on, um, people are posting them for a lot, but if you're, like, looking at eBay or something, or let's say Amazon, if I can find the Amazon one, I don't think it's on here, but it's, it's, it's definitely cheaper, because if I look up the, um, what is it called, RTX 3050, which is another good one, I'll just look it up like that. Um, they are a little bit more expensive. On Amazon, if you're going to get a 3050 8GB, um, that's like $300. This mainly is about 300 or below 300 wherever you find one. But if you definitely have enough, if you don't want to just get, if you want to just get a better one, go ahead and get a better one. But this still does the job that I want it to do. So as long as it does that, it's all good. But um, that will be it for that. And, uh, let's get into the game. Alrighty, everyone. So now we are in the game, and we're in Infinity Roleplay, because that's the server I play on. And, um, 
Yeah, so we're gonna start with the gun sounds now. So we're gonna grab the Glock real quick. This is what the Glock sounds like. Okay, after that, we're gonna, um, real quickly go to the back of the cruiser, one of which one of them I don't really care. We're gonna grab the next weapon, if I can just get it out of the trunk. There we go. Alright, now this is gonna be the carbine rifle, so, um, you guys can listen to this one. Okay, now that one's done. We will go and get the shotgun. I got certain weapons, but I also gotta go back and continue with this one real quick. I gotta go back in list mode. So you guys can hear this part now. Okay, now we can go hear the shotgun. So let's just grab the shoddy from the back of the car. And here's this one. Okay, that's going to be almost it for the weapons. I got one more gun that you guys might want to hear. So, I would get the Uzi real quick. And we are going to add these things to it. And we're going to go ahead and grab that one real fast. There we go, there's the Uzi, and here is the sound. Okay, that is going to be it for the weapons. Okay, now up next is going to be the police sirens. We got two cop cars here. Um, one is the 20, 2016 Explorer, and one is the 2018 Dodge Charger. Um, the Charger has in-game custom sirens by the put in by the owners, because they do actually sound nice. So I'm going to firstly um, show off the 16, because these don't have custom in, so these will be regular um, sirens, but there will be our modded sirens that we put into the game. So I'm going to show the lights real quick, and I'll also let you guys hear the sirens and the, the air horn and all that. And I'll also drive the car with the sirens on. So here we go. Okay, now that we're done with that one, um, the sirens sound pretty nice, but now we're going to go ahead and switch over to the charger, which these will be um, the custom sirens that are put on the server like in the game already, so these won't be the ones we put in, but that one will be. So here's these sirens. Okay, so that's the demonstration of the sirens right there, and um, now we're going to move on to the graphics. So um, here's my graphics right here. You can see the light bars really nicely. Um, they're, the graphics are obviously phenomenally good, just going to say right now. 
it's a good graphics pack. Um, I showed you how to install that one too. If you guys want to, when you go to that website, I'll put down in the description below, I'll put all the links down there to the things that I went to. Um, you guys can click on them from the description there. But, uh, so, this is what the lights would look like. And if you guys want to know what, like, what settings to put when you put this graphic pack in, you want to go here and you want to scroll down. And, um, you guys can either pause the video and you guys can copy this yourselves. So, this is my population density right here. My other population variety. Distance scaling. Extended, extended texture budget. I don't really need much because this server is actually well done. So, like, we don't have really much texture issues. Unless it gets, like, to where the server's on too long. And then everything gets messed up, sort of, sometimes. But it's fine. It's, it's sometimes normal. But, uh, here's my texture quality, and I'm gonna mute real quick so you guys can just, um, not have to hear me talk while I show these. So, um, here we go. And okay, so that's what you might want to do if you guys want to copy the uh, graphics there. And um, then your game should look sort of like this. But um, my graphics pack is a little bit different. And it's just exactly the same, but that's the one I recommend because it's kind of harder to get mine. And mine's probably not even out anymore. So, yeah, but if you guys want to get that, it would be just as good. It's just this one is more textured and also I put more mods into it. But those are kind of hard to do. And I kind of don't remember how to put all those extra things I added to my graphics pack. But if you guys can look for other videos, go ahead and find more to add things to it. But, um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, um, thanks for watching. And, um, hit that, um, sm smash that like button as well. And, uh, subscribe as if you're not. Obviously, just hit the subscribe button if you want to watch more videos I put out. And, um, hit the notification bell too, so every time I upload a video, you guys will be notified. And um, this will be it for the tutorial on what to install in your game to make your improvements of playing 5M better. Or just, I don't even know, but mainly this is just for 5M, so make sure you guys pay attention to what the, um, what the title is called. So then you guys know exactly what you're going to be doing. But that will be it for this one, and if you guys enjoyed, thanks for watching. And um, stay tuned for more videos that are like this, or just more videos I post. Have a good, have a good one.